all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and in the previous video we've seen we created a, such a ui for creating our to-do app so in today's video we're gonna be work on the handling part like uh, on entering something whenever we will type something into this and we will click on submit button so it should be get added and it should be start rendering over here and also we if we delete that so it's gonna be deleted from the list so that's the thing we're gonna manage to do over here so let's start it so first i'm going to install the uuid library that uh, library will help to uh, add the data on the basis of id into the state so let's check this out uuid npm oh sorry npm UUID. Okay, so this package I'm going to install into my repository. Okay, so let's install it. npm install UUID and so till then this package will install. Let's create a state and into that state we're gonna start putting our data. So let me import the use state from here. Okay, so this is my new state so i'm going to create a state with the name of list data okay so use state um, list data okay so inside this list data i'm going to put all the to do's over here so i'm going to define this as an array because it's important like if you if you are creating any state into the typescript language and you don't define the type of that uh, state so it's gonna throw an error to you so you can't put it undefined because in typescript you know it's a static type language so you need to define the variable name otherwise you can uh, use one more method over here so you can type any into this and it's gonna be working as it is so you can define the string and whatever you want to define so you can do that thing inside this so so this is my state and what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this, uh, remove this thing like this array. And what I'm going to put, I'm going to put over here list data. Okay. So now it's gonna it's gonna map the list data over here. Okay. Now start putting our. Uh, so let's just create some uh, function. So uh, first I'm going to create a function for on submit. So on mfn on submit okay so whenever we will submit that form so data gonna be added so it will add so set list data let's check this out set list data and dot 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 list data comma i'm going to create an object and i'm going to put that object inside of this so it will be having uuid so id will be this and and also i'm going to create one more state u state used it gonna have um, uh, input change whenever we will make a change into the input box so it's gonna be stored over here okay so just make it as a string because we, we're gonna put the string inside of that so let's go into the form field so text field you can see so now on change on change so is going to return me event so i'm going to return event from your p and set input change equals to p dot target dot value okay and okay so your target dot value and what would be the value so value gonna be Input change, input change. Okay, so this thing is necessary if you are working with form field or text field. 
So these two things you have to define if you are making an input change into any input field. Okay, so just click on this and on submit this form. So we're gonna call this on submit function. Okay, so you're gonna call that on submit function from here. And next thing I need to define this type of that button gonna be submit. Let's see. Meeting suggestions, no suggestions. So this button type gonna be submit, and then this button will work on the enter as well. So it's container. Uh, it's showing error over here just because there's no value. So we need to put a check over here. If list data list data dot length and then. So if list data have length, then this map function gonna be working, otherwise won't work. So value could be any. Okay. No, it will work, I think. So value dot ID, we're gonna put, and uh, text line value dot uh, primary, remove this. Family text gonna be value dot text. Okay. value dot text value gonna be any let's see any implicitly implicitly has any type okay let's see it takes it's throwing the error value dot Okay, let's see. Case equal to value dot ID. Okay, so now it's not throwing any error. So I'm going to put over here text equals to input change. And let's so our UUID has been installed. So let's import it. So let's see what UUID says. So you need to use this. Control C and hit enter and this is this UUID V4. Control C and control V and this function. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna create every time it's gonna whenever you will hit enter, so it's gonna create a new UUID for your uh for your to do and whenever and this text gonna be whatever the input uh, changes you have done into that so it's gonna put the text inside of that so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a check over here if input change is something you have changed into the input field and this also is uh, available inside the store uh, state so then this uh, submit function gonna be working so let's see it is throwing error uuid cannot find definition module uuid because it has any type save save type okay so i need to use this as well so typescript also defined to the solution as well so you can use the solutions Okay, let's uh, let's uh, remove this line till then we will start working with our state. So let's remove this ID part as well. Uh, till then, remove this ID part. So it's gonna be working. Okay, so I think I should not throw error any. Come on, man. Okay, so it succeeded, and let's go into the UI and so you can see currently nothing is coming okay so i will tell you how to remove the zero so let's type something this is my to do and hit submit so you can see my to do is coming and let's remove this zero from there so it's ending over here and hit enter so now this zero gonna be removed cool so it's working fine i think and um, let's see into the browser again 
Uh oh, so it's take time to compile the code. So you can see it's compiling right now. And yeah, so it takes time to compile the code and it's gonna be compiled. Now you can see the zero has been removed if I type something. So it should come over here. So you can see, uh, but it's resetting the state again. Why? Hmm. This should not happen. Oh, okay. So I got this issue why it is coming. Like whenever I'm tapping something and it is getting removed. So what we need to do, we need to pass event over here. And I need to remove that event dot prevent default. Because the default behavior would be whenever you submit any form, so it reloads the page and submit that data. So whether doing that, I need to remove that default behavior of that form submission and i just need to execute my function as it is so i just need to type any over here Control Z. Control Z. okay and now let's check this out into our browser okay now if i will type something so it's gonna be added you can see it's voila so this is my app and you can see this is working fine so now what i'm going to do now what i will when i will click on this delete button it should delete that to do from the list so that thing i'm going to do so i'm going to click click on the create the function first and i can delete to do okay so on which to do i will click on that it will pass the id to me so on the basis of id i will fetch that to do and i will delete that so just console.log the id over here console.log id and raise that id i'll delete button on click whether doing over here whether doing over here we can put it on click function over here on click delete to do and i'm going to pass value dot id okay so whenever we will click on that delete button it's gonna delete the to do so right now we will check into the console what the id it's returning right now so let's check this out okay so it's just showing something showing error over here what kind of error it is like type script error expression expected to do the tsx okay what is that value.id value.id role and define okay let me check it Let's see how it works. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, so I need to provide the any over here. See, when I click on the delete button, the ID I'm getting over here. So this is the UID, and every time whenever I will submit this uh, to do, so I will get a new ID every time for e every to do. So now what I'm going to do, I just to I will find the index value of that to do. So uh, what I'm going to do so I need to const index equals to uh, list data dot find, find index items items dot id equals to id I hope you guys know about this three triple equals two and double equals two thing why we use that so normally we can use double equal to and so, so this uh, but i'm using triple equal to uh, because uh, when you use double equal to it will check only the parameter of that value like whatever the value you have it won't check the type of that like what the data type it has so if i will type two number over here and this is a string two string is so it's gonna be match if i will use 
uh, if I, I will use the default two only and uh, if i would use triple equal to so it's gonna check the type of that uh, um, variable as well so so we should use that triple equal to every time when we're writing the code so this this syntax gonna find like this line gonna find the index value of that uh, uh, id related to do and uh, into the next slide what i will do i will remove that this dot splice and i will remove that index value and in the next line set list data also dot 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 list data. Okay, that's it and let's check into the browser the delete functionality is working fine or not so let's reload the page and let's type in something if i submit it if i remove it so you can see it's getting removed if i type it something and if i'm removing it so it's getting removed so that's it guys and it is working perfectly fine like i can remove the to do's and i can add the to do's as well so it is working perfectly fine and let me do one more thing that should look better so i haven't put the, any background over here so i'm just going to find any uh, background so let me find the uh, gradient gradient for background so let me choose any gradient css gradient backgrounds uh -huh. let me choose i think and this one would be nice so copy css and just paste it uh, over here to the app.css so average CSS app header text align center so dot slash add and do the app dot tsx so there should be a uh, index dot tsx so there should be root id id root so let me just add that gradient over there so index dot css body so we're gonna put the star over there. so you can see background color or background image I have got over here and let's see into the browser what we are getting so you can see a background has been added properly and so we are just getting this list data over here so you can see this kind of scenario we are getting so we can remove this list background from here as well so just go into the to do and just remove the background color from here and let's see what we are getting okay so let's see so we can see now it's looking fine so you can see this is your to do and every time you are getting your new to do with new id and you can also remove the to do list so guys thank you for watching thank you so much and if you like this video please hit the like button and uh, i'm going to put this code on my github repository you can find the link into the description and you can just copy the code and you start using it in the next video i'm just going to add the redux functionality as well i have already added that functionality i didn't just uh, consider into this video because it's going to be messy so that's why i will create a separate video on that so you can see this provider store and all the things so also you can see a store folder i have created over here and there are some reducers and actions and this is the store that create a store and all of it so how i did that and how i created that thing so i will tell you into the next video and by using this you can use the redux as well into the typescript code so it's a little bit complicated not not uh, very much hard and it's uh, it, i'll make easy for you guys for understanding that redux part as well so this was the to do app uh, simple to do app into the typescript and i hope you guys like the video so thank you so much guys thank you for watching till then tata bye bye take care